types of jobs in the VLS industry are somewhat like this. Analog IC design engineer, this is one domain where people can look for the jobs. Digital IC design engineer, this is another domain where people can look for the jobs. Mixed signal IC design engineer, this is another domain. Verification engineer, this is another domain. Test engineer, this is another domain. Device modeling, this is another domain. So total put together one, two, three, four, five, six domains are there. Apart from these six domains, this domain, this is uh, this is this SOC engineer, this SOC engineer, and this FPGA. These are also a part of uh, uh, you know I, we can consider them in this uh, domain. So put together here one, two, uh, three, uh, four. You know, this is a five. This is six. This is seven. This is eight. These are the domains, guys. The the person who is good at circuit level, uh, he can go for this analog uh, IC design. The one who is not good at programming, so he's a, he or she is a good at circuits. They they are very fond of you know uh, working with circuits. So they can go for the analog IC domain. In analog IC domain, again there are two categories. Two categories. One is front end design. One is front end design. The other is back end design. In back end design, <coughs> people in the back end design, <coughs> they will be doing layouts. Basically, they will do the layouts and layout versus schematic checking. That are, they do parasitic extraction. There are a lot of jobs here. So uh, layout versus uh, schematic, parasitic extraction, and uh, you know uh, simulation here, time related simulation. And there are several simulation, uh, Monte Carlo simulation. There are several, but uh, I'm not. I don't want to confuse. I just want to put an abstract level. The abstract level is analog IC design has got two domains: front end domain and the back end domain. In the front end, people will be doing circuit uh, circuits, and they are uh, simulating, and they, yeah. they see that results are coming fine. So once these results are coming fine, their job is done. Front end engineer's job is done. They send that circuit to the layout design engineers. Layout design engineers will do the layout. Sometimes they do it manually. Sometimes they do it automatically. Tools are there. EDA tools, electronic design automation tools. These EDA tools are there. These EDA tools are there. So people, what they do is, uh, with the help of these EDA tools, they automatically generate the layout from this circuit, circuit itself. So wherever required, there only manual intervention will be there. So mostly they will focus on parasitic extraction. And then timing related simulation, so that they ensure. So this is the job of the back end design engineers. So this is one domain candidates who are uh, not much uh, having interest in the programming, they can go towards this uh, analog IC design. The other domain is your digital IC domain. In this digital IC domain, again there are two two uh, uh, you know sides. One is the front end side, the other is the back end side. Back end, uh, front end is a RTL development and simulation. In a RTL development, uh, that uh, you know, uh, so far what we are trying to learn uh, coding, that is using very large DL or system very large or BHDL. Basically, in the market, these three are there. Industry mostly using very log or uh, this uh, system very log, uh, but BHDL guys are also there. So that is also another uh, language, BHDL. So, and a system very log for uh, design. Uh, guys, remember, system very log has got two things. One is a system very log for verification, system very log for uh, design. These constructs are different, totally different. So, here, this guy who is a front end uh, engineer, he or she should be familiar with very log HDL, VHDL, or system very log. Either one is okay. Not, uh, completely all three are required there is uh, there is no such rule uh, one uh, expertise is there enough it is good to know all the time you you know the risk in the market it is good to know the other others others also but if one is good uh, person is good at then that is enough and coming to the back end design there are several in the back end the guys will be dealing with only floor plan guys will be dealing with only placement guys will be doing, uh, dealing with routing and clock free synthesis and power planning. So like that, uh, this in the digital domain itself, people have this backend uh, uh, domain. So these again, here, here tools are different. All the time I'm trying to mention the tools here. 
the tool set here is required is different and the here is required is different because there are guys who are asking on whatsapp uh, the tools uh, about tools also so remember for a log it designer tools for circuit design are different for layout the, those are different coming to the digital it design engineer the, uh, for them also front end for, for front end tools are different for back end tools are different and in this in the digital IC design, there are two types again here. This one we already have seen uh, differences in IC design flow and FPG. So the tool set again, again I mentioned tool set. Tool set here is different and the tool set here is different. So that is the digital IC, do, uh, IC domain jobs. Coming to the mixed, uh, mixed signal IC design engineer, they mostly work in data converters or uh, face lock face loop, all this stuff. So in this data converters, they focus on analog to digital converters or digital to analog converters, uh, such sort of uh, stuff. Well, otherwise, face lock will loop this sort of stuff. So uh, this is uh, again uh, another domain where candidate must be familiar with both. That is, uh, HDL he or she must be knowing, and he also he or she must also be knowing circuit design development also, because. Uh, it's a mixed here because the partly you de uh, deal with analog, partly you deal with digital. The moment you deal with digital, you talk about the HDL. The moment you talk about analog, you talk about the circuit. So that's why mixed signal IC design engineers should be familiar with both. So this is another area, and the tool set is totally different. We had to run here, guys. Uh, we had to run uh, run the HDL code and the circuit development together. A file you will convert. And this file we have to run for simulation. This is uh, something uh, uh, different other than earlier you, you earlier you have seen that is totally uh, analog or uh, digital. This one, this one totally analog. So the, the tool set is different here. This tool set is totally different. Digital totally this tool set is different. But here coming is a mixed signal. So you club these two. A tool should be capable of handling both. So, so the tools are totally different from earlier two. What you have seen. So that is the another uh, thing, mixed signal IC design engineer. Now coming to the verification engineer. He or she will be uh, using system Verilog for verification. Where candidate must know system Verilog for verification in order to develop the test, test techniques. This test techniques, uh, industry uses methodology. They follow either uh, UVM or open verification methodology, but uh, according to my uh, sources, those who are there in the company, this UVM is mostly used. 98 uh, percentage of this uh, UVM is used. Open verification methodology uh, is uh, uh, this is again a company. You know, there is a synopsis company, there is a cadence company. So uh, they have their uh, you know uh, some fight between. But ultimately, this this is the winner. So people are working, uh, 98 percentage of the people uh, focus on universal verification methodology. This is not a new language. People develop a technique uh, for, for verification using system verification. A methodology it provides a methodology mechanism. There are a lot more things to learn here, actually. So, But but in order to know uh, universal verification methodology, UVM, person must be familiar with the system verification. Without familiarity with the system verification, a person cannot uh, develop or she cannot develop a universal verification methodology. Universal verification methodology. So, guys, here this is the job, uh, job, job role. Is, this is the verification engineer. So, these guys, these, these guys, the verification engineers, they don't really bother about uh, these, these issues here. Uh, the circuit design headache, or, uh, you know, layout headache, or parasitic or simulation. They don't really bother about. They don't really bother about RTL code. They don't really bother about your placement, all that stuff. They don't really bother about all this. They only bother about what is to be uh, obtained. What is to be obtained. So that is the functionality is known to them. And they develop a test cases. They are all test cases. They, these test cases are bombarded here on the UUT unit under test over that using this verification methodology. And they see that these obtained results are according to the uh, uh, this this functionality, that is the specification. So you, that that is the job of this verification engineer. They they simply ensure in in between for them is a black box. 
that that you uh, you to unit under test maybe this is a mixed signal maybe a digital or maybe analog for them it is just a uut they simply have to uh, they are uh, you know uh, they provide some something called test vectors and they obtain something called uh, expected output this expected output is what our uh, specification tells us this is what we have to obtain that is what the specification tells us so this verification engineer focuses whether according to specification expected has come or not for that he or she will develop test vector this test vector development is based on this uvm universal verification methodology that that, that that this one uvm is so powerful so this powerful language is again needs this system uh, very lot system very lot constructs for verification not for design design constructs are different verification constructs are different so that is the verification engineer's role and tool set is totally different guys here this this uh, we have to have eda tools those who support uh, uvm if tool uh, tool is not supporting uvm he or she cannot uh, though they may be capable of developing some uvm uh, test scenarios but they cannot uh, use on a tool which which is not really supporting so such supporting uh, tools are required as i was talking about uh, uh, hl uh, you know that uh, vivado so vivado possibly may be supporting this uh, this uh, uvm so that is supporting this is hls uh, you know high level synthesis tool uh, vivado so that is support, supporting uvm so guys this is the term of uh, verification engineer now coming to the test engineer in a real side there is a guy called test engineer his job is to uh, ensure that design for testability this, this is this is totally different uh, uh, stream uh, built in self test the circuit you are developing the circuit you are developing this chip this ic after manufacturing according to expectations if it is not working then we have to throw this chip into the dustbin so meaning what so many billions of rupees uh, dollars billion uh, not rupees billions of dollars that you have spent on ic development all have gone into your bin so that is happening so for that what is that we have to ensure is test we have to ensure already a fabricated ic whether working or not so this ic should, on this uh, silicon uh, what is there inside after all silicon is there on that silicon area this silicon area if test logic is there here your test logic is there then uh, this entire area this, this majority area you see this is your logic logic set so here this test logic uh, candidate uh, should be able to incorporate for a test logic test logic what it does the on the ic there are some some io ports some io ports these io ports when you put in some mode this entire logic this entire logic will come into the test mode in that case a normal uh, circuit behavior will not be doing it is having some some flip flops all these flip flops are uh, chained together uh, chained together they give some test vector and uh, through this test this test vectors will go through this 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 chain while going through this chain they also touch the logic here so they also touch the logic through this Uh, logic again they obtain this uh, here from they capture so uh, this captured one according to their expectation is there or not that they uh, see they ensure you according to the, if, uh, according to their expectation if it is there this internal logic this uh, this logic this logic is perfect there is no flaw in that so that is that is test this itself is a subject we have to study about the, uh, in one word or two words i cannot tell what it is this itself is a Uh, subject so guys this is what the test uh, uh, engineer will do so he will ensure that design for testability is incorporated or uh, uh, or built in self test is incorporated onto the silicon that is the job of test engineer test engineer will not bother about this logic or uh, will not bother about the this circuit they only bother about the specification and output the way verification engineer so verification engineers uh, what their job is this is not a fabricated it it is still virtually in your system at that time they give the test vectors and they see the ex expected outputs are coming or not that is what they do what this verification engineer but test engineers one or two ices mass production before doing mass production one or two ices they will fabricate they they build a test uh, vectors they incorporate test logic before fabrication 
दे हैव डेवलप रेडी टेस्ट वेक्टर्स दो टेस्ट वेक्टर्स आने हैं फैब्रिकेटेड आईसी दे अप्लाई एंड दे सी दैट द आउटपुट इज कमिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू द एक्सपेक्टेशन और इफ इट इज नॉट कमिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू द एक्सपेक्टेशन दे स्टॉप दिस मास प्रोडक्शन आइडिया दे करेक्ट द आईसी एरर व्हाट द आईसी एरर इज again one or two they uh, fabricate again they test the same if that is not having any flaw that masks are given to the mass production so that is what this test engine is uh, responsibility now coming to the device modeling job device modeling jobs a uh, job they they have separate uh, this is again i have to mention uh, uh, the tool set here the tool set is completely different earlier whatever the tool set is there no where the, the tool set is going to help you here the tool set eda tool electronic design automation tools this tool set is totally different for having this uh, design for testability or built in software and coming to the device for modeling again here the tool set is totally different here uh, 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 currently uh, suppose say uh, what we are doing we are fabricating using uh, silicon uh, we are fabricating something called uh, nmos something called pmos that is the uh, at the bottom level happening at the bottom level happening so suppose say what if i want to change uh, something model uh, to fin fit this uh, fin fit this is a, a new technology unlike unlike cmos technology uh, there is a called a fin fit technology so if this fin fit according to expectation is there or not so this fin fit models we have to build modeling we have to build so this modeling is done at the uh, you know uh, compact level or semiconductor level compact level means you use that uh, verilog uh, you know uh, verilog uh, ams analog and mixed uh, signal ams so this this sort of verilog ans there is a verilog i was uh, talking about earlier verilog and then verilog uh, system verilog and then now i am talking about verilog ams so this is another for compact model so what we do is this behavior in fact behavior we have to completely model in the language like a very large so this is also a language so this behavior in fact behavior we model now this model one we use for developing a circuits we you, we have this this device we have this device what we do with these devices we we build circuits right like inverter and then nand gate and gate we build with using these devices no likewise this device one this device is model using this uh, compact modeling so what we have to do is we build circuits using this uh, fin fit now that we had a uh, yeah we have to ensure that this Uh, fin fit is really meeting our uh, requirement so that is done at the compact modeling or semiconductor device mo uh, model so this is these are the uh, 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 information that i want i thought of for providing because there is lot of confusion uh, that i see uh, people communicating on whatsapp uh, personal messages or some, sometimes in the group about the tool about the uh, you, uh, you know some something so guys here you should have clear picture what you want to learn in a vlsi i want to get into the vlsi industry that alone is not going to help you i want to get into the vlsi industry that alone is not going to help you you should be understanding it it what you are good at are you good at analog ic are you good at digital ic are you good at mixed signal are you good at verification how do you then th test that uh, uh, how do you know so you know because of your be uh, you while you are studying in a be second year or be th third year so you may be liking that li uh, linear integrated circuits where in operational amplifier are there using op, op amps so there are several applications that we build we learn in that subject so if you love more there uh, that that uh, lika and you hate that the stl the switching theory and logic design while studying be it means you are more inclined towards analog ic design not towards digital ic there are students who hate uh, this uh, lika linear integrated circuit design like operational amplifier or that uh, your applications using op amp they hate it simply they love this uh, stl switching theory logic design 
it means what they are more inclined uh, to be a digital ic designer that's how you can assess your potential there are guys who are inclined to both analog and they love this too meaning they they fit here in the mix signal ic there are guys who hate all this analog ic they hate digital ic they hate meaning they don't fit here what they love is they love python they love c programming like like that sort of stuff meaning they are more inclined towards verification engineering and there are guys who want to make hardware workable meaning maybe analog maybe digital the way mixed signal guys are loving this too so these guys are also loving this too analog and uh, digital who test engineer guys and there are guys device modeling guys they don't like at the circuit level circuit level abstraction they like at the device level device level means you know that 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 pmos how this uh, what is that uh, here silicon is there and what is that here end diffusion is there so and what is there here sio2 is there and there what is the policy they love such sort of physics they love they hate all this uh, you know programming they hate they hate analog ic circuits they hate digital circuit ic uh, circuits digital uh, I, uh, circuits they hate so what they love they love this physical physics they love so they are more fitting in the device modeling jobs and there are guys who hate all this they they lo they love to build applications they love to build applications something like uh, you know uh, you you put uh, temperature sensor is there and uh, that is uh, uh, sensing some temperature if temperature is going beyond uh, 60 degree uh, celsius uh, then they want to turn off uh, uh, lights uh, or something else some, some some sort of thing so uh, that is uh, they are more inclined towards this soc but remember they should be uh, uh, also loving this uh, uh, you know uh, programming they should be loving programming and they should be knowing at least abstract of this which is uh, good uh, uh, you know uh, which which ic is good so such sort of knowledge ic knowledge should be required for this soc engineers they should be good at programming one they should be knowing about the ics which ic is good so that sort of information is there means they are more inclined like soc engineer system on chip engineer but remember i am not uh, totally denying this uh, they should be familiar with ic's functionality at least they are not liking to build but they should be knowing how that ic is how good that ic is so that is what this soc and coming to the fpga design engineers they mostly sit here uh, this digital ic but in digital ic there are two uh, sides i said one is a uh, application specific integrated side the other is a pg so the, the, those who don't like the this side as this side they, they they are sitting here in the pg so so guys with this brief uh, now you decide uh, you know, those new learners there uh, those who are already familiar uh, for them i am not addressing those who are not familiar these are the domains never ever have any confusion in your from now onwards if you don't simply from now onwards ever say that i want to get into the vlas engineer rather you say i want to become a analog ic design engineer rather you say i want to become a digital ic fpga designer or digital ic asic designer or you want you say i want to become a mixed signal ic then you should be familiar with these two equally and uh, if you if you are good at python If you are good at some scripting language, Perl, uh, uh, mm. such sort of thing, so then you are more uh, likely go for verification, not for this. Then uh, test engineer, test engineer should be knowing uh, the functionality of this, how to build, not required, but the functionality. And uh, this device guys, physics, they they should be uh, liking the physics, this device physics. So uh, with that said, uh, uh, and uh, from now onwards, ever have an opinion like uh, tools are common uh, for any any uh, VLSI field. Simply the moment you heard a word VLSI, never imagine that there is a single EDA tool, electronic design automation tool. There is there is there, there is no single EDA. There are different EDAs, and uh, the good point the good point is they are open source, complete open source. Tool. That is the good point. Open source tools are there, and commercial tools are there. These 
uh, at student level, commercial, forget. We cannot imagine it. Student level, if, if I want to be a good analog IP uh, designer, I want to learn layout. As uh, commercial, we cannot imagine. There are open source. I will I will cover this uh, some other day. There are open source tools for every everything open source tools. for every here in log IP open source are there for back end for front end back end open source are there similarly digital front end back end open source tools are there for mixed open source tools are there for verification open source are there available for test also open source for device modeling also open source I know every every uh, this tool uh, so uh, some other day I can present about that but uh, I hope with this brief guys there who are told so far that uh, buzzword vlsi uh, industry buzz it's a buzzword like iot has become nowadays buzzword like that vlsi it's a buzzword that has become to se uh, several people but that buzzword uh, should be now clear these are the major domains from now on you try to focus in which domain you are more liking and uh, try to be uh, try to gain expertise in that too Guys, uh, I hope uh, I uh, you benefited. Uh, whether whether it was uh, useful to uh, someone there, can 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 someone unmute and uh, talk to me? Was that helpful? Was that helpful? This one? Definitely, sir. Can I ask one doubt, sir? Actually, uh, if I am capable, definitely, I will sir, ask. Sir, uh, in, in to which domain post silicon validation engineer relates to? Post silicon validation engineer. Post uh, silicon validation engineer, I guess this test engineer. Okay, sir. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. So, guys, are there any any queries about this? Guys, are there any queries? If no queries, we can switch to like ten minutes left. We can switch to our uh, subject. Uh, Satish, are there any queries? Uh, no, sir. Actually. So I want to put a question, uh, doubt on uh, analog IC design because uh, I know only 741 and 555 timer IC. Uh -huh. So do we have any related jobs in India and uh, whom I need to approach for that? Uh -huh. see, uh, see Satish and the uh, guys others, you forget about the job headache. Okay. One, one, one mantra, one, 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 uh, uh, Kindly, kindly mute, Satish. Kindly mute. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, uh, one mantra, guys, you remember. That mantra is, uh, if uh, mangoes are there to the tree, people will come. You understand? Uh, you Can you decode what I am saying? If mangoes are there to the tree, people will come. Meaning, if you have potential, then definitely you will have the job in the market. If you don't have potential, then only you have to run here and there asking the people, Are, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, give me job, give me job. If you are potential candidate, then plenty of jobs are there. One day I will demonstrate uh, that also, which companies are there, what they are looking for. That, that is another 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 presentation that itself. So, but but the point here is, but the point here is, Satish, you, you talk about some ICs, but uh, if you, my, uh, if, if you have paid attention to my presentation, I was talking about totally in log IC circuit level. That guy should be familiar with uh, in the op -amp, we have four stages. So in each stage, what, how these transistors are connected, why they are required, uh, what is the voltage divider, what is current divider, what is mesh analysis, so all such analog circuit designer should be familiar. If guy, if guy is not know, knowing, uh, you know, voltage divider rule, current divider rule, uh, uh, mesh analysis, uh, some other uh, uh, circuit analysis, basically, if if he, he or she is not familiar, but want to be analog IC design engineer uh, and want to sit here as a circuit development, they cannot sit. They cannot sit for hundred percent. They cannot sit. This is one, one point that I want to tell to the Satish and the other uh, um, fellows there who are holding the same doubt. And the other point that I want to tell is, uh, what was that? Um, coming to the tools, there are plenty of open source tools. I will present some other day for just, just for front-end design, analog IC design, front-end design circuit development for that open source. Plenty of tools are there. You master using these open source tools, your circuit development skills, 
and simulation skills and see what is to be uh, what is what is actually your expected gain and bandwidth and how you are eliminating the noise all that you ensure at this circuit level itself using this open source i assure you 100 percent a job satish is that clear you yes. can un yeah uh, uh, satish yes sir yes sir yes sir it is clear ha hello sir so the, yeah yeah hello sir uh, system uh, system very long is it required sir i mean uh, compared to other i mean just knowing very long is sufficient or uh, system very long is uh yeah uh, you can uh, thank you for asking question you yeah, kindly and uh, kindly mute if uh, you, uh, i repeat your question if i am wrong in taking your question you uh, you unmute and ask again your question i took in this way uh, like uh, yeah, is it uh, required system very long or is it very long enough that is what your question actually i am okay uh, presently i know very long and uh, i mean we have system very long but uh, how far we have to run How much uh, will you know, uh, some will uh, uh, that is uh, that is what uh, uh, again <laughs> I repeat again your question uh, because uh, uh, I just got uh, I mean uh, because of audio problem I repeat your question again your question is you are working currently with very long uh, whether I have to upgrade myself with the, to the system very long or not was that the question. Yes, sir. But actually, I am just student, but uh, learning. Is, uh, yeah, yeah. No problem. No problem. Uh, yeah, but no. Coming to the question point. Uh, point is that uh, the question? Zakir. Zakir. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. This is Rajesh. I think you know me, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah Rajesh. Yeah, Rajesh. Yeah, I want to talk about this. Uh, when it comes to system verlog and verlog, they are not much differ. System verlog has HVL and HDL. HDL is nothing but hardware descriptive language, and HVL is nothing but hardware verification language. So, uh, system verlog is an addition to Verilog with some concepts which are missed out from the VHDL and some concepts which are not in the Verilog and VHDL. Uh, those are synthesizable constructs and non-synthesizable constructs. So, these non-synthesizable constructs are based on OOPs, object-oriented programming system. I think you guys know about C pro C plus plus, correct? Yes, sir. This uh, you don't need to worry. You can work on the Verilog and next level. When you are going to, when you are bothering about system Verilog, you can think of uh, what field you want to. Whether you want to go to HDL or HVL. The verification engineers uh, more focus on HVL plus HDL. So these are not synthesizable. But if you completely working on something design, you need to work on a HDL thing. So HDL thing is like minimal upgrades to the Verilog. So, like something which is not present in Verilog, which is present in System Verilog. One example is, uh, I think you know about input-output ports. Is it? Hello, am I audible? Yeah, I'm Rajesh, sure, you're audible. Yeah, input-output ports only one-dimensional. You can take in Verilog, but in System Verilog, you can make a 2D like array of signals in one line. You can uh, describe, like you can in say port name. Those many differences will come in system verlog. My suggestion is go with the Verilog properly, then look into system verlog for HDL concepts. But if you are interested into Verilog verification, then look into uh, C++ concepts like uh, classes, extension to the classes, polymorphism, inheritance, all these things come. Later, you have to move on to UVM or OVM. It's, you, it's up to you. You got an idea? OK, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, uh, sir, the uh, what was yeah. that uh, person name the one who questioned uh, yoga nanda correct uh, uh, yoga yoga nanda uh, yoga nanda uh, uh, yeah uh, first of all uh, thanks to rajesh uh, thank you thank you very much yeah uh, yeah uh, so in uh, in in addition to rajesh uh, what i want to tell is uh, already the part i spoke here when uh, when i was talking about the uh, verification engineer uh, to the Yogananda I am addressing and to the others also, those who are having a similar doubt. So yeah. I, I was telling here uh, that, uh, let me take this one, uh, verification engineer, system very long for verification. I, I was emphasizing in earlier lectures also, I emphasized uh, Yogananda, I don't know whether you, you attended or not. At that time I was telling system very long has got constructs for design. System very long for design. Those constructs are totally different. System very long for verification. Those constructs are different. As Rajesh was telling that uh, OOPS concept is much uh, required here. 
so that is what uh, this this system is like for verification uh, you know uh, uh, it does have that so based on this system is like for verification those concepts oops concept as rajesh was telling there is something that technique that uh, you know, for test development there are lot more scenarios to talk about uh, some it requires some other presentation but there is a technique that approach technique or approach that is called the, uh, methodology several methodology not only this two there are several but leading is this udm is leading uh, to, uh, to the yogananda i am addressing since you are working in the very long uh, domain as you said uh, though you are a student uh, not a issue but you have to understand this point this point you have to understand this point this point digital ic design engineer will develop ics will develop ics so the verification engineer will not develop ics he will he or she only will verify the functionality of this ic uh yogananda if 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 you are really inclined towards developing the ic ic development then you you are good with that very long history no problem but as always i say that market we have to uh, go with market so you have to upgrade yourself better to you upgrade system very long for design not for verification i am telling you and coming to the uh, uh, yogananda if you are not inclined towards developing the ics you are just uh, more inclined towards like uh, c uh, python uh, c++ sort of uh, th that you are loving more and want to be in a vlsi uh, field vlsi domain domain in that case you better go for a verification engineer